Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona, folks. Today, well, it's an important race. As we are, let's not do that now. Let's not jump two races. Uh, we're racing over at Lowe's Motor Speedway. That's not the important part. It could be the longest race we do of the season, though. I think this might be the Coca-Cola 600. Um, well, I know it is. But it's important because if we do well, we very well may be able to actually pick up another upgrade. Max out exhaust i think it is so we've got a lot of work to do to do that we need to get a nice spot here and well it's just gonna be a long video and a long race so let's get out there do a little bit of practice get some comforts and we'll see you at qualifying uh we were 31 we could beat kenny schrader we still got much better drivers to go so top 20 obviously is the goal for the qualifying we went back to the white paint scheme, but I kept the uh, higher, except for on the MPM. I forgot to change that. I did change the other uh, paint to the higher tone of blue. And I actually changed the other, the lower stripe from gray on the side to a neon green. Because I like to do fun stuff. And, you know, it's it's the Coca-Cola 600. Have to have a little bit of a different paint scheme. So that's just how we do it. Good thing this isn't my qualifying lap. Here it is, though. Here it comes. Qualifying lap on its way. Going through the quad oval. I know not much talking here. I just want to make sure I do all right. it right down on that line we're gonna stay as tight inside as we can here for this part All right, 31 six six eight um we had in the draft a 31 or something which was our was like two tenths off or not two tenths two hundredths off of our best ever time so anyway we're gonna go ahead and uh see where we end up 20th. Okay, so top 20 was the goal. Top 20 is where we're at. We'll get better with the draft. And, well, if cars in front of us don't make it through the race, you know, that'll be good for us as well. Let's get out here and put in our first Coca-Cola 600. I actually didn't check how many laps it is. We're about to find out together. Hello and welcome to Lowe's Motor Speedway at Charlotte. Even though it was built more than four decades ago, drivers still love to race at this mile and a half quad oval. If Daytona is the pinnacle of NASCAR racing, then Lowe's has to be just a bumper behind. Fans flock to the largest sports facility in the Southeast, home track to many of NASCAR's teams. I mean, just a bump draft behind? What? All right, here we go. Let's get ready. Short shift right away because I didn't want to be in first gear to start this one. Holy crap. Cold tires, obviously, and they'll be warm by the time we get to three and four, I bet. <laughs> just, let's just uh, breathe. Usa through this a little bit. There we go. A lot of. All right, we get to find out how long the, li the race is right now. 200 laps. That's what I thought it would be. Our last race was 200 laps as well, and this is, uh, you know, twice as long of a track, so, but only seven seconds more per lap on average. So, we can keep this one clean. It could even potentially be just a little bit of a longer recording than the last one. Bobby Hamilton slowed up a little bit. I had to come off the gas there. I think we got to have the opportunity to pass some of these cars. Just gotta duck down and get Schrader right here. Still there. No, no, Schrader. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Pardon me. Well, I scooch right here in Go front of you. Here. I'd like to do the same thing to Schrader right here, but not Schrader to Hamilton. But I don't think we're gonna be able to. Sadly, that pass on Schrader was just to get us back to 20th place. 
And I mean, as you can tell, we're not really doing much against these other cars. So the ability no to uh, <laughs> the ability to really get much farther ahead with what we have is it's honestly not there. So we're going to rely on maybe pitch strategy. Um, Cars wrecking, cars having problems, Carlo. things like that. I'm stuck behind Hamilton here, and I could get around him, but I just can't seem to get to the right point. And when we come off, I'm not uh, not doing well, so I'm going to shut up for a minute here and see if I can get him because I don't want Schrader to pass me too. No, not really. No, oh, I had to get on C. That's the thing. He's, I could have got to his inside, but I wasn't close enough, and he got down in front of me. And, of course, now Schrader's going to take advantage of it. He's got a quick car, so he's going to get around Hamilton. Again, we could be around Hamilton and Facet. Maybe I'll just follow Schrader through. Nope, I had to slam on my brakes for Schrader. Jeez, oh, Pete. All right. Well, wow, Labani running the low line there. No big deal for him, huh? I feel like we're going to get to his quarter here. And the drive off is going to be what gets us. Trader, give me some of that draft. Still there. Don't hit me. Learn how to drive, guy. We've got plenty of room here. You're all clear. There we go. Well, we got 20th place back, but unfortunately, that's not great for us because we've got... Uh, any Schrader that we want to pass again. See if I can do it. I just, uh, I've got to have like a couple really, really good corners to get to his quarter and have good drive off. Like we're getting in on him. We, the draft is bringing us right up on him, but I don't, it's not, it's just not enough because I don't have the, see, I don't quite have the drive off yet. And I think I can get to him here. I get, I will. I was gonna say I'm gonna try. Oh, we're a little. Dang it! I hesitated for a second. That's why we didn't get the pull down, and I then I got on the brakes because I'm really doing my best not to even smash up the front end of the car at all right now. Still there. This could be our opportunity right here. Ah! Oh well, he hit us. It's not his fault. I my other choice was to get on the brakes to get down, but. No real damage, just a little nick. Still there. You're all clear. Ah, we had to slow way down. I'm just not, I can't enter shallow like that with this setup. Not that I could with any setup in this uh, equipment, but we're going to try to drive away from him now, now that we're going to be able to hit our own marks. Maybe I just had to get on the brakes again. These two. These two here might be the competition for the whole race. Just rely on our uh, pit crew to get us where we need to go. Jeez, where does Hamilton all of a sudden get? He wasn't as fast as Schrader. Now he's riding right up on us. I mean, come on. That's just stupid. All right. We've talked a lot ish. We're going to go ahead and take a little bit of a talking break here and just drive out for this uh, rest of this first stint. I think we get 28 laps of the tank, so we got a few stops we're going to do in this one. We'll see how it all goes. We'll get back to you. Caution or pit stop. I don't know why I always said action because it's action is a caution, isn't it?
Oh, we got two cars in the wall in the same lap. That's crazy. Labani and, uh, well, Labani. So that's interesting. No. Yeah? We have smoked our front right. We smoked all of our tires, actually. <laughs> Come to think of it, we've, uh, it's not, not been that great, but we were racing super hard. And ever since then, I kind of started backing up the corners a little bit and not doing that. We were racing so hard that we were, uh, we weren't, we were breaking. We were pulling so hard in the corner, we were actually breaking into the corner. And now I'm just riding it around. So we'll pit, uh, not this time round, but next time round. And that'll be our first one. We got some body damage. That didn't help. We're a lap down. A lot of cars or a lot of the... Super fast cars are out here just burning it up, but you can see they all have front front damage. No I mean, I don't know if there was a whole thing that happened with them early on or something, but yeah, that's a lot of damage. Um, I also did not practice pitting, so that's not great. Um, another thing, though, is I'm pretty sure that I didn't finish season one when I did this whole series the first time because I there. yeah we're pitting this time around Clear low. um the reason why I don't think we did is because I actually just beat my top oh come on get down there get down there you're fine you're, you're good we're good Slow down. don't hit the wall don't hit the wall you're fine oh uh, we barely hit the wall anyway uh we bounced or not bounced we um we beat our fastest lap in this race, like for this track, so that's pretty cool. All right, well, there it is 20, 28 laps in the tank. We'll go ahead and warm up the tires real quick by doing a this is semi drift, no smoke drift, you know, whatever. Get up on the lat or on the track. And pray that everybody gets around their stuff caution free because I do not want to have to. Oh my goodness, we have so much grip now that it pulled me right down on the apron. I was not used to it. So let me fix that. We're fine, everything's fine. I just, I guess I wasn't up to speed at that point or something. I don't know, but that was crazy. And uh, we'll get it together now. We will be much more aware. I just, I was worried about the two cars behind me. I didn't realize that we had so much grip that we were going to actually pull it right down onto the freaking there. apron there. All clear. Um, the expectation is some of these cars that are on the same lap as us are pitting now or soon. So we'll get that back um i should suspect that we'll end up back in the 20th place area i would think that's what's going to happen but i could be wrong after that slide our lap was good or our lap our pit stop was good but then that slide wasn't good so uh that part's not great yeah there we go we got some some of them that are pitting like for him though we got to bring it all the way around and pass him to get that spot so I'm going to keep you guys with it at regular speed until we get, until we kind of sort this whole thing out. Could take a couple Stay laps. Still there. All clear. Got Blaney right on us. And it's for position. And he looks like his front end, would, at least when it gets on screen, is pretty cracked up. So that's interesting. Well, he is obviously fast or, or faster than us. I don't know why that is, but okay. I didn't think he was one of the cars that were faster than us. Whoa, big hit into the wall there. Holy crap, but it seems looks like the car kept it together, which is a big deal for us because we still haven't sorted things out yet, and I just do not want to be caught multiple laps down while the leaders do their thing. We should, Yeah, we're one lap down, so that's okay. I was going to say, I do not want to be sitting here multiple laps down because of this crap. All clear. Move it. Don't do that. Ugh. That's the second time. I had an issue with the 119 earlier. 
He's trying to figure out where to go with him. He likes to really pull it right down on the line, which is fine, but he does it so slowly. Like, he doesn't get there right away, and you're like, oh, I could get around him. Nope. We have not picked up a spot. I mean, we're about to pass Mac to get to 30th, but how are we not picking up spots here? How am I having to drive up and catch all these triple-digit cars? You get 28 laps of the tank. We are well beyond 28 laps into this. We're 35 laps into it, so I don't understand how we're having this kind of an issue. Oh, and here comes the bully. Maybe he won't be such a jerk today. He was a bully last race, came blasting right into our rear end. I get it, it was a short track, so it's a little different, but it's still annoying. He's going to make a drastic move right there. Yep. Look at him. Just lying around everybody. Alright, so Borland is the... Oh, there we go. There we go. Some cars in the pits. What is up with that? Why is our... Why is our gas mileage that much worse than everybody else's? That makes no sense to me at all. I mean, we get 28 to the tank. And cars are just now pitting. That's... That's not good for us at all. We move back up into uh, 24th. Kenny Schrader in front of us, which means, yeah, we still have some triple digits that are going to have to pit. But even if they were lapped once or twice, it still means that they got like 33 laps to the tank. And that's way, way more than us. So I'm very confused about that. Um, things have done exactly what we said they would do. Sorted themselves out. We very well could have been racing against uh, Schrader again, but the problem is is that we put the car on the apron and put it sideways. So we're going to get through this stint. Stay high. Still and it's going to be 20 more laps where we have to... Well, I'm just... I'm going to see if I can do better this time on the tires. They were smoked. But I think it was because I needed to back up the corners a little bit more. I don't think we're probably... Yeah, we're still torching them. Not not great, but they're not nearly where they were before. Whatever. All right, wreck in turn one. You know, couldn't... May not be the worst thing if it was an actual wreck, but it wasn't. It was just a non-issue according to the game. We got Gordon coming to lap us for our second time. Well, it makes sense, though. He seems to lap us once, at least once per stint. Carlo. Actually, at this point, he's lapping us like every 17 laps. Why is he that much faster? Ooh, that's crazy. But here we are. Oh, it looks like we got somebody else pitting, but I think we're already in front of them, so that's not going to count for a position. Elliot Sadler, he's in the pits. He might have been the car that wrecked, so that's going to be another spot. That's nice. Again, if we can pull out a 15th place finish, that'd be fantastic. But if everybody else is somehow able to um, pit so late in this stint, I don't see how we're going to be able to keep our position at all. And that sucks. Like, really bad for us. So, I guess we'll have to see how it all plays out. But I've gone another couple laps with uh, talking. So, we're going to do these last 17 and we'll get back to you with a caution or our pit stop. Caution comes out this time for the wreck in turn one, so that was a thing. Um, we're going to pit because, honestly, I don't. I think we need to pit. Well, we're going to pit, but holy thank goodness that we got to the freaking line. I forget that he was going to slow down, and that quad oval is just ice. All right, we'll pit because, again, I have no idea what's going on with everybody else, and I want to be kind of ahead of the game. So we'll pit. Now we'll probably pit at every caution if it's not too close between each other. Well, I figured out why Gordon passed us twice already. He, uh, he's going ahead and putting in about right near two seconds a lap faster than us. Pretty impressive. Who jumps to the inside? This guy. Why? I have no idea. We're in 24th place. We pit. But we got a full tank again. Puts us off schedule, and you know how I like that, so... Hello. Hoping Hello to there. 
Now, if we get on the brakes right here. Oh, watch it. What? Come on, Burton. Come on. Oh, he's like, why are you slamming on your brakes? Because my car, I can't hang it into the corner like that, man. I can't do it. Jeez. We got smoke in front of us. Smoke being actual smoke, not Tony Stewart. I don't know what's happening here. All these triple digit cars, man, they just, they get the inside oh, lane man. and it sucks. We can't. Robbie Gordon oh, getting in Burton's way. We got to get off the gas there again. Carlo. Uh, we're fine. Oh, come on. Clear we got a smoker. Oh yeah, we're going to pit now. We weren't going to pit, but look what we just did to our car. Unbelievable. Get set. The race is going green. All right. There's Do it again. Flag. This time I'm jumping to the outside. <clears throat> it just feels like the safer thing for me to do. Carlo. Oh, yeah. Great. And it is the safest thing for me to do. Rusty Wallace has entered the picture. This 119, if he runs me into a wall, I swear I'm going to freak out. He did. I'm going to follow Rusty because, well, <laughs> Rusty freaking Wallace, am I right? I should do his, um, his classic car, his black and gold one. I forget what the name of it is, but it's got a name. It won a lot of races in that car. Oh, that was, that was a sketchy uh, thing for me to do there, but we got, we got through it. That was actually pretty Carlo. nice. It's in here in 23rd. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping what's going to happen is we're going to end up with some cars now that will pit when we don't have to. We'll get some spots. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, folks? Since we're off schedule now, but apparently they can go seven laps more than us when they pit. Now no one will know if that's the truth because you're never going to tell because we're off schedule. Still there. Oh, the 111 just needs to burn. Carlo. Yes, Blaney. We all know what it's like to be fast. Here's the problem. We've got these triple Still digit there. cars, and the uh, other option is to run into them and wreck our car. We're not doing that. So, oh, he said I will, and I'll send the freaking 111 down into your front right. Thanks, guy. Appreciate you. Yeah. Clear eye. Burton's still having a hell of a time, too. I get it. I'm feeling you totally, Burton. We're going to... Oh, still boy. There. This is Echo Park right there, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, Hold that's for line. position. Clear low. Uh, get there. Jeez, oh, Pete. All right. Oh, Blaney was for position, so we gained one on Hermie. We lost it from Blaney. Blaney's way faster than us. I don't know how we're continuously fighting him for position. This whole time, he's been faster, but ever since that first caution, he's like, and I'm here. I'm behind you. He must be pitting like we are. Uh, speaking of, you know, 23 laps left in the tank, but I feel like with such a long race, we're going to have to do more of these speed-up stints. Probably going to be an hour-long video anyway, but uh, we'll get back with you guys. Caution or uh, pit. Maybe action. There could be. I thought about it. Sometimes I do stupid shit and I pop in and say something.
one car is headed into the pit. All clear. What the frick happened to our engine? No reason our engine starts running rough. We got seven left in the tank. We're going to pit this time round, I guess, because uh, we're having problems. That's fantastic. That's going to put us in the pit for a minute. Well, not a full minute, but you get my point. It's going to put us in the pit for a period of time. Awesome. Love to see it. Really love to see it. I mean, what kind of crap is that? Slow down. I got you, man. I got you. We're fine. Well, we're pitting, and we're going to be sitting here for probably... Oh, what a... We'll see you after the pit. Sucks that we had to pit seven laps early to get an engine repair done. It was basically the equivalent of a random ass black flag because we had to uh, sit there for 15 seconds to have them plug the spark plug wire back in, and I was going too fast and came up on the track. All right, well, you know. Oh, go freak yourself, dude. Unbelievable. We're not, that wasn't us. So that's awesome. We're in 26th. We're probably three laps down. Four laps down now. Oh my goodness. All right. Here we go. Well, after we had the issues that we had, I don't know how many spots we could take. Looks like we can get at least two of them, which is nice because, again, our goal is top 20. So if we can do it, I'm happy about it. But four laps down. Not a not a great start to uh, this portion of the race. I don't really want to be that far inside. I just got a really bad feeling about being in that part. Oh, looks like I made the right choice. Looks like a lot of cars are four laps down. What's up with that? That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Um, well, I suppose all the cars that when the leaders didn't pit before, all the cars that were did pit they're all affected by that i mean here we are battling with robbie gordon again and that's actually who we were battling with before and we're battling with him for 17th place kenny schrader's a lap ahead of us so this would be you know just the last spot we can take here but the fact that we have an op a chance at doing it as soon as we let kurt bush bully his way through jeez oh Pete, look at him fish tailing it come on man Elliot Sadler right here. He's not for position because we passed Hermie. So really we are Carlo. We're just gonna let these two guys go by because we can't compete with them. As you can tell. I'm doing actually I was doing probably my normal speed around that corner when I'm on fresh stuff and they just drove right past me, so we'll accept that I suppose. Um Oh, that was... Oh, we went a lap down to Elliot Sadler, but... Getty Schrader's back there. I can see him back behind Hermie. Um, so I guess at this point, the hope is for... I mean, we're in 17th, so I'm not even mad. Because 17th isn't a bad spot. I'm shocked that we're so many laps down, and I fear that being a lot of laps down is going to affect... Now, we haven't caused a single caution or anything like that, so I guess... The determining factor is, is it how many laps down are we when we finish a race? Or is it how many times we are the cause of the caution? Because there's something that's causing it. Because we've, we've finished a couple laps down before where we weren't the cause of the cautions. Or multiple cautions, I should say. And we've ended up faring pretty well. This could be one of those situations, but I guess we'll find out at the end of the race. We're getting semi-close to 100 to go. We're getting semi-close to halfway through. We've got 113 left. We've got uh, 17 left in the tank, and we are an hour into recording, so the cautions definitely take a lot of time, but hopefully we don't have to worry about one for a little while here. We get through our stint. We'll pit normally, not have that extra 15 or more seconds for our engine randomly not being able to drive a long race, and uh, we'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and shut up.
we'll talk to you again. Caution, action, pit stops. Uh, watching the fuel gauge so I did that on purpose to Kenseth because yeah. Kenseth totally pushed me sideways and we were lucky to recover I thought that we were about to be toasted when he did that when I was able to recover I just decided well then I'm going to go ahead and uh, let him know that I didn't appreciate that so I ran him up into the wall I hope it's uh, damaged part of his car we're going around this one more time praying for a caution but it's probably not going to happen so we'll be pitting this time around and uh we're in 15th currently we'll probably drop back to 17th or 20 who knows what we're going to drop back to i don't have any idea are my tires and eh, they're toasted they're actually no worse off than they've been before so i can't really say that but i'm concerned because bobby hamilton's going to try to come up on the inside here and i gotta get down man just that just sucks. Slow down. Yeah, man, we're fine. There. Oh, uh, we're sending it up. We're going to, you know, keep doing the same thing we've been doing, which is fixing the car and putting four tires on and going. A lot of cars out of the race already, though, honestly. Unless they're just pitting, I don't know. But I think they're all out. I'm just going to jump right up on the track. Yep. Because this game does not care about the proper entrance, and that's good for me because I can't, I can't go around the corners normally. So anyway, oh good, Jeff Gordon right back to put us down another freaking 12 laps. Perfect. We're gonna just keep it up here. Carlo, let him go without incident. Um, we want obviously some of these other cars to pit because when they do, we'll be back up in a decent position. I mean, we're fine right now. Again, top 20 was the goal. Oh, wow. Stuff came off in Gordon's car. He must have blasted the uh, Fanta car pretty hard. I didn't, I'm seeing, yeah. Ooh, back end all crunched up after that. So. Clear low. I feel you, Gordon. We've done that before. Don't want to do that when you're leading a race. That's for sure. In case it causes you to screw up your radiator, blow your engine. Would hate to see it for you there, friend, if you ended up uh, with some engine problems maybe have to go to the pits maybe uh not win the race i don't know anyway uh we are i believe we're still four laps six laps down <laughs> it doesn't even feel like that's happened that's uh and we're six laps down top 20 we're in the top half well into the top half we're plus five in the top half of the group All clear. we're about to be in a couple laps we will be Top six or seven in the top half of the group, and we're six laps down. So we actually have like 80, what, 86 to go, not 92. All right, well, we'll take that. Let's uh, get around this here, driver. All clear. Obviously, that's gonna, that whole scope is gonna change when we have a fully upgraded car and we're racing against those guys, but for now, it's certainly interesting. We're losing time to Harvick, which is expected. We're gaining on Borland, which is also expected. So, you know, we're just out here doing what we can. Driving around a track. Uh, 24 laps left on this tank. 
We've got, what, two more stops left? A lot of stops, a lot of stops this race. And that's fine. That's part of the uh, uniqueness of running the Coca-Cola 600. Or in this case, what are we, 200 laps? So Coca-Cola 500? Are we really doing 500 miles? No. Four. 300. Sorry, 300 miles. I'm like, what? On the two and a half mile track. So anyway, though, that's, you know, it's the longest race we'll run will be this one. Maybe not the longest by time, though. That's the interesting part. Well, no, we're an hour and 20 into recording, and we're 80, what, 84 laps left as we go around this time. For us, obviously, 89 there, six laps, 83 laps left for us. So, yeah, we still got, we still got a fair way to go before this is over, so. Um... Newman Pitt, he'll come flying past us in short order. Kenny Schrader. We actually could race Kenny Schrader, so there's a possibility that we will stay in front of him or get to be in front of him. Here's Borland right here in the Hardy's car. And just scooch right around him without incident, preferably. There it is. Uh, Ward Burton. Not sure. We might be able to pick up some time on him see Mark Martin coming up behind us so that's not you know a big deal we just have to make sure that as we've got Mikey Wallace here that he doesn't screw it up so we're gonna run right up on the wall if we can I just don't want anything anything else to cause more of a, an issue with us right now I mean we haven't we haven't been the cause of any cautions but we had some unforeseen engine issues and oddly on the second caution we got loose on the front stretch or the little quad oval and smacked the wall and had to pit for that too. But we're still here and we're actually gaining on Ward Burton, so we're we're still here. We're still we'll still eh, we are still fighting for that top fifteen. Which is pretty cool. Uh nineteen laps left on the tank as we cross the line. I like to pretty much call it there and try to that's kind of where I've been determining that I'm gonna speed it up, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna speed it up right now, and hopefully, as everything kind of balances out here, we'll be able to come back to when we're pitting again. And that's uh, otherwise, it'll be a caution. I mean, that could happen. Yeah, look at how they turn right off like that. Go screw yourself. I turn off, and I freaking immediately my tires are smoked. Anyway, we'll talk to you in about 18 laps. 17, 15, I don't know. We'll talk to you soon. I'm glad I checked. Three laps left in the tank. Two at the line, so we'll bring it around one more time. No, we won't. We're going to pit this time around. What am I talking about? We're not bringing it around so it comes down to zero. Um, obviously, we're sitting in 13th. That's all about to change. As long as there's no cautions, we should get back to 13th. But I think we still have one more pit. Yeah, we have at least one more after this. So Down into that. Pull it down. Nope. Bring it back up, pull it back. <laughs> oh, come on. Slow down. 
Uh, it's just funny. Oh, and then we're sliding out. What the hell was even that? All right. Do our thing, and we'll be back on the track in hopefully about 12 seconds. There we go. We're going to go ahead, and since I know there's traffic around here, we will just now shift, early shift, so that we don't lose it going around this corner and end up on track. And then, uh, and then I'll do this. Whatever works, right? Here we go on track, safely up to speed. Engine temps right back up there. And uh, 17th place after that, which means that a lot of cars are more laps down than us. Oh, I just do not trust this right here. I do not trust this. Yeah, I didn't. Because I thought he was going to squeeze me, and it's just not worth it. It's not worth coming out of the pits and freaking having McCabe ruin our race like that. So, anyway, um, updates for you. Just like in real life when you watch this race, it's just a lot of cruising around. Unfortunately, the big difference is you don't have a ton of packs going on, so you don't end up with uh, some of the exciting racing that you might be looking for. It's been exciting in some instances, you know, getting around certain cars, holding a lead from other cars, yada yada. Kurt Busch is out. That's big news. Uh, looks like Dale Jarrett ended up being out as well, which is what had us up in 13th place. All clear. This is definitely a race of attrition, and I know I think I've heard the commentators say that before, but when you're running it, even at this distance, which is, I think this is, what, 100 laps short of the actual race? It's, oh no, this is a 600, so this is only half of that actual race. Um, even, even so, you know, we had our engine problems, that cost us. Then other cars, all the, all of the cars that are in front of us had. There's, I mean, there's a lot of cars on pit road right yellow now. It's, of course, yellow is out. All right. That kind of sucks, but it's also okay because we're gonna. I'm gonna hit the brakes right now. Everyone slams on the brakes here. We're not gonna get a position. It's not worth it. Uh, clean car. People are gonna pit that we're otherwise gonna have to pit, and we were gonna get positions from. That sucks, but it's all right because we have a clean car on track and we don't have to pit as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, yeah, we're going to we're actually going to pit, but only for fuel. Yeah, why don't we pit? Why don't we just keep everything going like that? No reason not to pit. Forget about it. Every, nothing's going to change, so we might as well pit. All right. 15th place. We pit just because, at, like I said, it wasn't going to change anything, so we might as well. Um. Restarts are crazy just because of the even Auto. slower cars that are on the inside of us. When that happens, that really shows up soon here. So we're going to not try to drive past Harvick, who I knew was just going to continue to drift up the track. Carlo. Let's see if I can get up around some of these guys because Carlo. they're behind one of the slow cars. Is that McBain there? Or McCabe, I mean? McBain, no. The cave. Managed to get around that one. Harvick hard on the Go brakes clear. all over the place. So we're going to definitely tap the brakes a little bit ourselves there. Holy crap. You see the fire shoot out of the side of his car. And, and he juts in. We got Tony Stewart on our back. And he is way faster than us. Carlo. And he's going to do that. That's, that's Stewart right there. He turned him up into our rear end. And there caused a giant pile up. You know, I was going to say, and we're not getting a caution. We're going to stay out this time. I mean, the, it's not even worth going in. We got what? We got tapped on the rear end? Oh. Get set. The race is going green. There's green okay. We're, uh, we didn't pit, so this time we're kind of up with Carlo. mostly faster cars. But that's good. Oh, there's Stewart again, though, so watch out, everyone. You could die. All clear. Bonnie's like, hold my beer. I got this. Oh, come on, Harvick. Just don't. How about that for an answer? All clear. Carlo. All right. Just want to get around. 
Whoa. Now Hamilton is a uh, lap in front of us. Nice. We actually could. He was 10 seconds behind us, by the way, before we pit the first time before the caution. We could catch him, though. Carlo. It's possible. Geez, Stewart, calm your butthole. Oh, my goodness. Nobody's asking you for be to be this guy here. My goodness. All right. What do we got in the tank? 20. Because I didn't pit the last time because I got bored with pitting every freaking single caution. So, not that it matters. We hit. If we get. What? Wait, no. I got to pay attention to. Ooh, don't look at that. Don't look at that at all. We did not have tires sitting at 260 degrees. We're fine. Um. Yeah, we'll start backing it up a little bit. No need for me to do that. Oh, we were so far ahead of Ward Burton, too. Unbelievable. And Robbie Gordon. Well, we're still pretty far ahead of Robbie. So, we are definitely not going to... We're still going to have to pit twice. Shoot. Wait, maybe not. We are, what, seven laps down? And we have... Oh, no, we still have to pit twice. Even if we... Yeah, we'll have to pit twice. I was going to say, even if we gas and go, but we aren't going to gas and go because we're going to be at the end of a run. So we'll have to pit a second time there. So, no. Terrible. Really just terrible overall. Um, shoot. And I took some air out of the front right. Or the front. Not the front. I took some air out of the right side. I think I'm going to... Put them back, put the air back in on my next pit. And I think that was actually why we were smoking the tires as hard as we were. And yeah, I am just moving out of the way of these two because obviously they're both way faster than me, including Rusty here. So better to move out of their way and not have to worry about it than try to battle them, get into a wreck. I mean, just think of how much I have evolved since you started watching this series. It is impressive, isn't it? I think it is. My brain is like, let's not do that and not ruin our race two hours in the recording. Hour and 52 minutes, but it'll be well over two when we're done. Because of the stupid cautions. Guarantee. Guarantee. I've got 35 minutes worth of caution. At least. So, you know. Especially since we still have 40 or 30 something laps for us left. So, good time overall. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of driving drive without talky talking. And, I mean, we'll talky talk at the next break because we still have one more after that. So, it's not like, hey, we're going to pit the last time and be good to go. Nope. We've got another one after that. Anyway, shutting up. Talk to you guys in a little bit. We got three left right there. Uh, means we're going to go around two more times because we should be on the second time just hitting one left as we're getting to the line. Obviously, we see the leaders just going flying through everyone. I don't think Kenseth is one of the leaders. I could be wrong, but I think that he's about to get lapped by those other cars. He's just that fast. Um, I told you we were faster than Kenny Schrader. I don't know. He's probably two laps in front of us already, but this should flip to two right about. Yeah, there we go. So we'll pit this time around 30 to go, which means we're not going to 
Unfortunate. Well, yeah, no. Actually, this will be our last stop because we're seven laps down. Eight maybe now, actually. Don't look at those tires. Eight laps down. So, yeah, never mind. We will pit or we will be uh, just fine. Crap. Trader, don't hit me. <laughs> oh, every time. Every time. Slow down. I am. I am slowing down. See, I was fine. Yeah, this is our last stop. Awesome. I didn't, I'm not going to change the tire pressure because it was just driving like a moron. That's why they were smoked early on. I'll drop us back to 17th, but we'll be all right with it. All right. Here we go. Back up on track. And uh, other cars still have to pit, so obviously we're doing our little dance to make sure that no cautions come out. Um, I don't know how much it would actually matter, because we are on the same lap with Burton and Skinner. So even if a caution did come out, they would pit and we would be in front of them again, likely. But I guess it's not that big of a deal, because we aren't pitting again unless we damage the vehicle. I, I think the biggest thing that I am curious about is if we will get paid. Again, we have not caused a single caution in this race thus far. And I am very curious. I almost just ran into the wall. Thank goodness I didn't. Still there. Clear low. I'm very curious as to if this is going to result in... Because we were eight laps down, do we end up not uh, getting money? Does it end up screwing us over on that bonus again? Or because we haven't caused any cautions, do we get the money? Because we finished in potentially 13th place, which is what I'm thinking we might finish in if this goes green. All the good questions and none of the answers as Blaney slowly creeps up on us behind. He is much faster. I see Ricky Rudd back there as well. So I'm not... And I have no reason to really drive like a bat out of hell because everything's going to take care of itself once those other cars pit. They are on their last pit stop. The leader should not be. If they pit right now, that would not be the end of the end of it for them. So I don't really know. Well, no, it would be. It would be the end of it for them. Because I think we're coming around for them for less than 28. Carlo, All right, what are we at here? Yeah, 25 to go for them. We're at 17 to go for us. Yeah. Unless that put us nine, or we might be more laps down now, actually, because we were in the pit. Yeah, we're nine laps down because we pit. They do have to pit yet, but this next pit stop for them is their last pit as well. And I really do think that the uh, gas is off on this, and we would have been mightily affected by that. Because if you think about it, there's no way that we should be nine laps down. I guess maybe actually <laughs> as I'm thinking about it they some are driving like second and a half two seconds faster per lap takes 31 seconds to get around here so about every 15 to 20 laps they're lapping us and we went 200 so that's 10 let that's down 10 laps so yeah never mind the gas mileage isn't screwed up it's just uh we're not that fast right now look who is back on the track Kurt Busch back on the track no he's probably 50 or more laps down, but can't believe he actually managed to fix his engine and get back on the track. Of course, now he's going to come through and just absolutely trounce us, I bet. And I don't mean that in a passive way. I'm going to, I'm literally letting up the gas so he can get around us. That guy is a menace on the track. And if we don't, I mean, if we had something for him, it'd be one thing, but we don't. So it's why, why risk it? That cannot be Blaney back there. He is not. He's not gaining on us. Interesting. Robbie Gordon, pit. So that moves us up to 16. Um, we, Skinner and Burton both still have to pit, so that'll be good for us. I will be very disappointed if we have a caution before everybody pits. <laughs> Just because at this stage, you really, you I want it to go green. Because of those guys needing to pit... It's going to be a big deal for me. So, 
And we're actually, every lap that goes by that we gain a second or so on these guys. Well, not every lap we're not getting a second, but you get my point. Every lap that we do gain or every time we get a second on them that they're not pitting, that's that much farther they're going to be back until they pit. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we're gaining on Skinner. A little bit fat. Well, no, Burton and Skinner. Yeah, there's another second that just went by, so... We're in 16th right now. Again, if this goes green, we should be assured a top 15, which is well above what we thought, but due to a bunch of cars being out, this dream is made possible. Needless to say, I love Lowe's Motor Speedway, and it was called, which is really cool, it was called Lowe's Motor Speedway last time I was there which obviously was a long time ago I don't know if I ever told the story because I was never racing at this track at this first time in the series but I used to work for the Shriners uh, volunteer work for the Shriners and so they let us golf cart people with disabilities or elderly people around the track to get them to their seats and stuff you got free drinks um, and I mean soda I was 19 they didn't they don't mess around with that but Free drinks, free burgers and brats and stuff like that. And um, I got to ride around, drive around a scooter or cart all day. And then when the race starts, they say you can pick an empty seat. And so I go to turn four and I'd sit with the uh, in the handicap section, hang with those folks, coolest folks, you know. And it was a great seat because you get to see down the, the front stretch. And also it's, you know, turn four. So you got a lot of high action going on there did it twice i was actually there the night that the walking overpass collapsed and of course this is back before cell phones were a prominent thing so i got home i left because it was it was raining and i left early because i was just sitting there watching the race it was raining i wasn't it was late i didn't want to really be sitting there that much longer i was alone and so i left and i got home and I had a bunch of messages from my mom because she knew I had been out there and I wasn't responding to her. So she thought that I was on that. And I did actually walk over the walkway before everyone else did. But it was, it was just me. So it was crazy that that had happened. And I didn't think it was that walkway. And then I was talking to my dad and... We were looking at the whole map of the area, and I'm like, yeah, this is the one I walked over to get to my car. And he's like, that is the walkway that collapsed. I was like, holy crap. So talk about being blessed there not to be a part of that horrific accident. But yeah, I love Lowe's Motor Speedway. It's awesome. It's a really beautiful track. Anyway, I've been there a lot for other events, not but just twice for the races. And... Um, they were a lot of fun. Maybe again someday. I'd like to go to it and see the, the Roval. I think that that's pretty cool. Pit. Here goes Burton and Skinner, both pitting at the same time. We could take it from Hamilton, too. There's that 13th place, and that's what I said we would end up in if we were fortunate. I'm not positive that that's what's going to happen, but it could. So anyway, just a little bit of a story for you guys there, but... I haven't been to a lot of tracks that I would love. Uh, one of my tracks, and I said this, I think, when I raced it, but I didn't race it very well, was Bristol. I would absolutely love to go to Bristol. And not, I don't, I mean, I go to the dirt race. I'm sure it'd be a lot of fun, but I would really like to go to the regular race at least once in my life. Five laps to go. I don't know. I. I was really excited because I thought this year I was going to get to go to the Xfinity race in uh, Elkhart Lake. That's my home track, Road America. And I actually, some of my nephew's friends I found out last night do the open sessions out there with their cars. So Car definitely hang out with them, go out there for the open sessions and stuff. That'll be kind of cool. But it's just unfortunate that I'm not going to be able to make the event this year. Just too much going on. And Carlo. Uh, anyway, I, I'm, I'm a little down about it. It was going to be pretty cool. I was going to go with my son. But he and I are actually going to the NHRA drag races in Indianapolis in September. He got, uh, 
I don't, I think because he is Ford certified, he's a Ford certified mechanic. He actually got free tickets for the weekend. So we're going to go to that and that'll be a lot of fun. That'll actually be my first since, I mean, I was young when I went to my very first one, but my first one that I can remember, drag racing event. So I think that'll be pretty cool. I don't know if there are special passes or anything where we get to go down on in the uh, area or anything like that, but it doesn't matter. It'll be a good time. We always have a good time anyway. Stay high. Still there. Clear low. All right, we've got not very many laps left in the race, right? Two to go. Two to go. <laughs> we've got two, two laps to go. We're not going to catch Hamilton, so it's looking like a 14th place finish, which is fine. Still there. Um, Oh, wow. We might actually not get this. This is if, if Stewart passes us before we get to the start finish, this will be the race right here. I kind of don't want him to, so I'm going to fight him a little bit here. I don't think it's going to matter. Look at how much faster there, he is than us. I'm still going to fight him. I don't want him to pass it's me before we get there. On. Got it. He, he finished. Carlo. We did not. What's crazy is he finished, but the game still has him run at full speed. I guess. What are you going to do? Slow down? That wouldn't be really cool. I mean, for the game. If everyone, all of a sudden, all the cars that just finished slowed down and I had to come. He, like, got in front of me and slowed down. That would actually really suck. But, hey, I will say this. A 14th place finish is way higher than the anticipated finish for us. So that's pretty awesome. That's worth two points. And uh, I'm really curious, though as to how, where we're going to end up overall. We ended up eight laps down, not nine, so that's cool. We would have been la nine laps down, actually, if we let him pass us at the end, so glad we didn't do that. All right, top five. Jeff Gordon won the race. Ricky Rudd, Mark Martin, Tony Stewart came in fourth. Rusty Wallace, top five, winding out. We ended up 14th, eight laps down. Bobby Hamilton on the same lap, only other car on the same lap with us. And if we were to jump down to running cars, running cars, I believe, would have probably been... Well, Kurt Busch was running at the end. I told you he was a lot of laps down. But um, James Daly would be probably the one car that didn't have any mechanical or anything issues that was running 17 laps down. There was a number of them that were 17 laps down. Here comes the moment of truth. Did we lose out on any of our bonuses because we didn't technically run the whole race? We did not. It's got to do with, it has to do with um, us causing cautions then. That's got to be why that happens. Because I have I have finished more laps, like with less laps down in a race, but was in a bunch of the crashes and lost all my bonuses. So I don't, I actually don't think it's a glitch. I think it's when you suck. You lose everything. We did great this weekend. Come away with $187,992. Jeff Gordon emerged victorious at Lowe's Motor Speedway on May 23rd. This is a great job for the 24 DuPont Chevrolet. Congratulations to that group. 14th place finish will put us in 24th overall. We are one point away from 22nd. Ahead of Kenny Schrader and Steve Park. Matt Kenseth moving up now that he has had a couple good finishes, so he's jumped up the pack some. We're still going to do whatever we can. We keep getting top 15s. We're, we should be able to get up there into that second page, I hope, by the end of the season. $1,161,004. Here's the big question. Do you? What is the trade-in on this? 87000 So that put us right at the... I mean, we're like... We're just short of maxing this out. My question is, do you max this out? Or do you max out... Oh, that's a big jump. We're going to max that out. All right, there it is. $61,000 left, which means we basically get a race without winning any winnings. And we're screwed the next race. So we have to keep doing well or we're going to be in big trouble. I should have probably looked at the next race to find out where we're going to be. Oh, good news. We have a truck race next at Dover International Speedway, which also means that our next cup race in two videos 
will also be at Dover International Speedway, which is great. I love Dover. I say it every time. I think we'll do very well in the truck series at Dover. At least we should. Not a ton of money in comparison to uh, it's about twice, just a little bit more than twice the money in the Cup Series, but $450,000 for that race. And, you know, we've done so much better this season just driving after since the beginning. To be fair, we started poorly, I understand, but we've certainly turned it around in the last few races. And I'd like to think that we'll take lessons learned from the Cup Series down here into the Truck Series and maybe be just a little bit more responsible with the truck and hopefully come away with a very nice race, if not a victory there. But folks, that is going to do it for this episode and our first ever Coca-Cola 300. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please, maybe just this once, hit that like button. If you don't, a couple, I mean, I'm loving it. You guys are hitting that like button, a few of you, and I really do appreciate it. So I think it has to do with the algorithm. I don't know. But all I know is that we're growing, and that's the biggest part about it. Building a cool community here, and we got big things to come in the future. But having said all that, folks, until next time, and as always, take care. <laughs>